Welcome to CA Performance Management video, Configuring Threshold Events and Notifications. While poll data provides input to CA Performance Management, the product creates output in the form of informational messages called events. In particular, a threshold event is a type of event triggered when a poll value crosses a boundary limit. This video examines the configuration of threshold events and the configuration of notifications which are produced from events. CA Performance Management comes with an out-of-the-box events display dashboard, seen here, which is designed to alert the user of significant happenings. Like other dashboards, you can use the usual dashboard scoping mechanisms of context setting and time frame selection to limit the events to the desired group and time of occurrence. Events provide health and status information for your monitored environment as well as for the servers and the host architecture. They can be forwarded to CA Spectrum, allowing CA Performance Management to take advantage of Spectrum's advanced and industry-leading alarm capabilities. Events come in two major categories, internal and external. Internal events, like the ones here, need no configuration and are usually triggered automatically by an occurrence within the product, such as a metric family update or a loss of connection with the database server. External events are threshold violations, which are triggered by polled values. Unlike internal events, threshold events require configuration in the form of event rules. Let's take a look at how event rules are defined. Event rules can be defined in one of two places, within monitoring profiles, as we'll see here, or within threshold profiles. In both cases, an event rule specifies the metrics, boundary values, and severity with which to generate an event. Multiple rules can be defined which evaluate in parallel. So what's the difference? The answer is that monitoring profiles will apply their event rules to all devices and all the collections associated with that profile. There is no option for a device in one of these collections to opt out of the event rule processing. This type of configuration makes sense when you wish to unilaterally apply event processing across all devices associated with the monitoring profile. For example, the router monitoring profile shown here has two event rules which will apply CPU and memory use thresholds to all routers without exception, which is sensible and logical. In many cases, however, the all-inclusive nature of monitoring profile event rules does not make sense by casting too wide a net. In these situations, the more selective behavior of threshold profile rules is desired. Let's take a look to see how they work. Unlike monitoring profiles, Threshold profiles do not combine monitoring and threshold configuration, but are designed to solely administer threshold event calculation. They define the same metrics, boundary values, and severity information of a monitoring profile event rule, but are intended to be associated with custom groups often defined explicitly for thresholding purposes. This design allows the administrator fine control over which devices and components will evaluate a given threshold, thus minimizing the resource consumption required by threshold processing. As a further safeguard, threshold calculation bandwidth is constantly monitored and a limiter kicks in should processing ever exceed a configurable percentage of the polling cycle. Threshold profiles are organized into folders to allow the administrator to logically group them. Here, folders have been created for the host servers of the CA performance management architecture, all devices of the monitor infrastructure, and a more specialized selection limited to switch and router devices. Selecting a threshold profile in this last folder we can see that the profile has been applied to a custom group of switches and routers at the Boston site. This is an example of targeted application of threshold processing. Pull values from all other devices in the infrastructure will not trigger these threshold calculations. Threshold profiles also offer the ability to view only those events caused by the profile. Revisiting the interface utilization threshold profile, we can see that it monitors interface utilization and consists of two event rules one for incoming traffic and the other for outbound traffic. Now let's examine an event rule in more detail. In the upper section of the event rule dialog, you specify the rule's name, description, metric family, and severity. Here you also define two time values, the length of a sliding window of time and duration. If the cumulative time over threshold is greater than or equal to the duration value during the sliding window, 
a violation has occurred and an event is generated. Note that the time over threshold does not have to be contiguous over the sliding window period. In the next two sections of the dialog, you specify the metric calculations which will generate and clear the event. For this rule, a critical event will be generated if the inbound utilization exceeds 85% for a total of 10 minutes within any 15-minute period. The event won't be cleared until the utilization drops below 75% for a total of 10 minutes within any 15-minute period. Although this rule uses a single metric and fixed threshold values, event rules support the use of multiple metrics and standard deviation values when determining violations. In addition to event generation, CE Performance Management also supports the ability to produce notifications. Notifications extend event reporting and offer an alternative to actively watching the event's display dashboard. They do this by proactively sending emails to the appropriate people or traps to other applications. Together, events and notifications play an important role by keeping you aware of changes or problems in your infrastructure or within CA Performance Management itself. Configuring notifications is made simple through the use of a step-by-step -step wizard. Steps involve naming the notification, applying a group filter to scope candidate events, specifying the event selection criteria, and finally configuring email and trap parameters. Taking a closer look at the event selection step, several tabs allow the selection of events via data source, event severity, type, and subtype, and threshold profile. Here, we'll limit the events to those generated by the interface utilization threshold profile, which you may remember was applied to only Boston switches and routers. Email configuration features dynamic insertion of event attributes to allow for differentiation and customization of notification content. The Create Notifications rule write is required to configure notifications. For more detailed information about configuring threshold events and notifications in CA Performance Management, click the Information Bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to the product documentation, visit CA Communities, or see the learning path.